My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right. Here we are, Shadra, at Volenrood. Let's see what's going on here. It's about time we get you out of the house and test your assassination skills. I've got your back. I've put up a good amount of gold to have you trained so that you will never be taken advantage of again. What's that, you ask? Shadra, why are we here? Let me just look at my notes. Astrid has agreed to let me see Armand Mortier in the dungeon known as Volenrud, as commanded by the Night Mother. I am to speak with Mortier and find out what he wants. Let's go. What can I do for you, friend? Just follow behind and look out for trouble. Look, a dead body. And what about this skeleton? Mm -hmm. It seems like it was ready to spring Drop to life. It. Damn it, I hate those things. All right, so what do we have here? Hedic Volenrud notes. Hmm, I was skeptical, but it's obvious now. The old hymns had truth to them. The relief wasn't far from the entrance. Just as they said, I've no doubt now that it hides the entrance to Cavinel's tomb. The two keys must be hidden somewhere nearby. Ceremonial replicas of Oaken and Edu. It, I'm not even going to try it. Favored weapons when Ken, Kennevel went into battle. I don't dare explore further without hiring bodyguards to accompany me, however. To think that the Tongue Chieftain Cavenel could be entombed behind just a few feet of stone. The ancestors we scarcely believed was real. Twice damned for planning this foolish scouting trip. I should have hired those cell swords in the first place. Perhaps there's no need. This place is just a tomb after all, and there are no obvious signs of habituation. Habitation, wow. It isn't as though the thousand-year dead will mind if I have a look around. Well, apparently someone mind. All right, let's continue on.
Hmm. There's a path in every direction. Alright, I'm hearing footsteps. And they're not yours, Shadra. All right, so these must be the keys that he spoke of. We need to find out what they are. All right, we'll start with this direction. I never knew a place could be so ancient. I bet it's over a thousand years old. There's someone there. Ah! There oh, someone's are. there, all right. How do we get over there? All right. Careful, Shadra. There we are. I see my training was put to good use. There's still more, though. Looks like it's this way. I hope that when I die, I don't end up as a shambling corpse. Wait, who's this? Good work. I've got your back. Is there anything else you need? No, there isn't. It looks like this was just a trap. Oh, a ceremonial sword. I think it was mentioned in that journal that I read. All right, it's time for me to recharge my weapon. Looks like it's this way. Ah, oh, look who it is. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. 
This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. The Night Mother heard your pleas, Motier. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say, the work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets, as well as their manners of elimination, quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. <laughs> It's a shocking request, I know, but it is inside the purview of what you Dark Brotherhood types do, isn't it? If history is to be believed, you must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now you're here, as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, let me give you these. They are to be delivered to your, um, superior. Rexus! The items. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Is that it? Is there something else you need? I have questions. Who are you, Motier? Who are you really? I performed the Black Sacrament, contacted you people, because I thought you guaranteed discretion. Is this no longer so? Careful. Raising your voice to me could prove fatal. You can trust your servant to keep this secret. Oh, Rexus is no mere servant. Really? He has been with the Motier family since I was a child. I trust the man with my life. Tell me then, why do this? Why have the Emperor assassinated? In the year 3E41, Emperor Pelagius Septim was murdered in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City, cut down by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. His killing ushered in, shall we say, a necessary change in Imperial policy. There are those now who wish for a similar change. I am sorry, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. All right. You must deliver those items to your superior, and I... I must get out of this foul place. You must. I can't help but see a chest over there. Do you mind if I take a look? And you, Rexus. I have vowed to serve Armand Mottier until my dying breath. Best remember that. <laughs> And you'd best remember that your life hangs by a thread. All right, Chandra. It looks like we're I've done got here. You back. Thank you. Ah, look, here's where they performed the Black Sacrament. Well done. All right, we'll be leaving now. All right, there's still a matter here in these caves. About this ceremonial sword and weapons. Let's see if we can find them while we're here.
Well, we have the sword, but let's continue searching. So alarmed. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what the ancient Nords used this place for. Hmm, I poisoned those blades, did I? Interesting. I've truly made you an assassin. Chadra. There you are. Please finish him off. There, thank you. I could have been destroyed waiting for you to take action. So we have a ceremonial axe. So the sword and the axe should open that door. Let's go. up a little bit. It's quite dreary. Did we kill this one? We did not. All yours. Now we can enter. These old ruins, they don't want us here. What can I do for you, friend? Well, I hope you're ready. We have to defeat. Is it Whatever his name is, Kinval, something to that degree. Kinval. Hmm, I hear a word wall. What? 
Who sees us? Ah, there. Now he's below. Careful, Shadra. <laughs> So much power. And to think you just wanted to be a common stable hand. Look at your true potential. But it's only after I turned you into a vampire that it unlocked your physical prowess. Oh, look what we have here. to be Shadra, you've done well. Now, where is that word wall I'm hearing? All right, back to the wall. Seek Aura Whisper. You know, it might be in my interest to see if I can use these words to my benefit. someone get these that chest well I'll leave it alone I'm sure I'd be disappointed with its contents
This is it. Oh, sorry about that. That's the problem with chain lightning. It can strike anyone. Friend or foe. All right, I think it's back out the way we came then. So it looks like we killed two birds with one stone. Meeting with a Monmotier. And the dungeon exploration and finding these enchanted weapons. You did make it out. For a moment there, I thought I was leaving you behind. All right, let's head back and report to Astrid. It. Ah, there you are, Shadra. You'll have to wait out here. Members, non-members are not allowed inside. Stay here and keep Bandit company. Waiting for someone. You're back. Good. All right, so, did you meet this Motier? What did he want? <laughs> you should probably be sitting down for this, Astrid. Motier wants us to kill the Emperor. You're joking. <laughs> no, my dear, I'm not. Here, look at this amulet and letter. What's this? The letter explains it all. The amulet is for expenses. By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. Surely, the Night Mother wouldn't misdirect us. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke or what but what we now have before us so we'll accept the contract <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it if we pull this off the dark brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries you think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory <laughs> but this is all so much to take in I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, 
and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. I know him well, Astrid. You seem to not realize that I'm the leader of the Thieves' Guild. But anyhow, it's been a pleasure. All right. It's time for me to head back to my Thieves' Guild companion. Delvin. <laughs> you look like you've eaten something that disagrees with you. Something you need? Anything for the guild. Actually, I'm here on Dark Brotherhood business. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over, ain't ya? So, uh, how is Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, but business, of course. What kind of business? What can you tell me about this? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member. Worth a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Will you buy it? Buy it? This? An Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, wait. Just one moment. Here is a letter of credit. Usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress, with my regards. All right, very well. Chadra, is that you at the bar? If I can't you're tell. If you work, talk to Vex or Delvin. They'll fix you up. With everyone dressed in the same oh, uniform. Let's we'll go. We need to report back to Astrid. I'm starving. If I don't find someone to feed on soon, I may have to take it out on the Dark Brotherhood. Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? Yes, and specially made for members of the Elder Council. The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? He was. Here is a letter of credit. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then... I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. A wedding? Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride. At her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Well, if it isn't, it soon will be. So, who is the target? 
Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give my best to the bride. <laughs> All right. Until next time, brother. Yes, you seem pleased. Happy even for a change. All right. It's time for me to make preparations for my wedding crash.